Okay, so I decided to do a video instead of um, writing the writing an article like I was originally going to do, just because uh, a video seemed to be more intuitive. I can show you guys a lot more um, than I could write. I had I'd taken like 50 screenshots, so I think we're just going to go with the video. All right, so let's go to our side view. Uh, if you note down there on the left uh, corner, you can see my keystrokes. Uh, if that helps at all. Alright, so if you hit Z, we can go into this wireframe mode. And I have dynamic spacebar menu on. Uh, it's pretty easy, you just go to user preferences, um, and then up here just type in dynamic uh, spacebar and check that on. Uh, so that way whenever you hit spacebar, you get all these options. It's really convenient. If you don't have it on, I suggest you do it. Okay, so we'll go to um, add object, and then we'll just do single bone. I'm going to scale it down. Okay, I think that's about good. Alright, so uh, hit tab and let's go into edit mode and just select this top one and we're going to extrude up. And I think we're going to do about six bones. So. so. Okay. So I think that's good enough for now. Alright. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this mesh. Actually, you know what? Don't hide it. Uh, go to the front view. Let's go ahead and line these bones up uh, in the middle. Um, I'm kind of terrible at this, so I'm just going to I'm just going to eyeball it. I don't really feel like snapping to grid or anything, even though you probably should. But whatever. All right. Okay. So just make sure it's where you want it. All right. Now go ahead and select the mesh first, and then the bones, and we'll do Control P, and then do uh, with automatic weights. That way, if we go into pose mode for the bones, uh, I'll just rotate on the X. You can see it's already got some influence on it. That way, we can kind of check our progress uh, as we're rigging it. Okay, and I've found that um, while like if I had the full body, uh, you'd probably want to go and paint some of the weights for the legs and stuff. Like these legs are way too close together, so this bone would probably catch way too much. Um, so you're you'd pro if you're gonna do a whole body, you probably want to go in and paint weights. But for right now, what we're doing, automatic weights is it has a good distribution for the whole body, so we're just gonna do that. All right, let's go back out of pose mode. All right, so now let's hide this mesh. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is fix the uh, roll on the bones because when you extrude it, you get some. Um, here, I'll just show you. Let's go to edit. Let's see, where's my? Yeah, hit M. I think it's up here. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I might have to go into pose mode. Okay, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, essentially, when you extrude bones out like that, oh, there it is. Wow, jeez. Okay, so yeah, when you extrude bones out that like that, if you notice this roll bar here, um, it gets a little bit weird. Like that's negative 180, 180, zero, zero, zero. Okay. So what we want to do is just select everything, and then if we go to uh, the armature one, hit axes. So now you can see all their axes, their local uh, rotation axes. And you can see that they're all kind of all over the place. So you want to select all of your bones and then hit Control N. And I'm going to do global plus X axis so that my uh, Z is pointing out to the right, X is pointing back, and then my Ys are pointing up. All right. Cool. All right. 
so once we're done with that, you can, I like to, I'm just going to leave it on. I like leaving it on. You can turn off your axes if you want, um, but for some reason I like being able to see them when I go into edit mode. Alright, so next we will add a curve, and we'll do Bezier curve. Let's bring this up here. Alright, do uh, R for rotate, uh, do X for the X axis, and then do 90 degrees. That way we have it rotated up. Okay, and then you'll want to go into your front view, your or and then uh, so on the numpad. I'm sure a lot of you know how to use Blender, but just in case, on the numpad, uh, one is like your front, three is your side, seven is top, and then I think nine is bottom. I guess I don't really remember. Uh, something like that. Yeah, I think that's right. And then if you hit the f uh, five button then you go into ortho or perspective. So, anyways, let's go to the front in ortho, and then if we edit this curve, again, I'm just going to eyeball this. Uh, feel free to, I have my thing not really on the grid, so um, feel free to snap yours to the grid if you want to make it super precise. But in this case, I don't really care, I'm just going to line it up. Alright, let's grab the top point, and just line it up, just try to put it as center as possible. Okay. Go to the side view and do the same. So then uh, go back to the front view, hit the A button, so it selects everything, um, then hit V and hit Vector, so it lines it straight, and then hit V again and go back to Automatic. Uh, that way it just makes the line makes the line straight, you don't have that weird uh, bend anymore, you don't have that like S-curve. Alright. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to have to, yeah, okay, so select your bones in object mode, hit control A, and then uh, you're going to want to apply the scale, and here I'll show you why that's important. Okay, so if I just go to uh, the constraints, i got to be in post mode. So if I apply constraints, we're going to be using the spline IK, and essentially that's uh, just using our, it's going to use our Bezier curve. So I hit spline IK, I'm going to do a chain length of 6, because we have uh, 6 bones. And then uh, if you turn off this Y stretch, um, if, you had an if you don't apply your scale, what you get is this just god-awful stretching. Um, and here, so the point of that is... Uh, the point of the Y stretch is, right now if we do, I'll just show you what it does. With it on, it allows me to uh, move these bones anywhere I want in any direction, um, and it'll stretch them out, which is okay if you need that, but we don't want that, especially on a on the spine where a human body doesn't just stretch like that. So, what we're going to do is... Uh, Right, so go to object mode, select your spine, and then do you just control A, apply the scale, and then uh, go back to the spline AK modifier, which is in the bone constraints, and turn off Y stretch, and say now it's, now it's fine. So 
when I click on as your curve, go to edit mode, select this point. I can't. The curve itself will bend up, but the bones will stay the same length. Alright. Cool. I'm just gonna put that manipulator back on the center of the curve. If you need to know how to do that, just do Control Shift Alt C and then you can just do origin to center mass. Alright. So let's see next what we want to do. And if we go uh, Alt H, look at our body. Um, you can see it bending with the uh, essentially it's smoothly bending the bones in the middle between these two points. Okay, so what we actually want to do is uh, we, we want more than two points, uh, more than the top and the bottom, or at least uh, that's what seemed to work best for me. Um, just because right now it's bending between these two points, so the whole body kind of, the whole you know, there's some funky stuff there, <laughs> but the, the whole body kind of moves. So uh, if you go into edit mode, then select, uh, just hit A, select all the points, and we'll do W, uh, subdivide, and you can look over here, if you press T, I just, number of cuts, we're just going to do one, so we have an extra point there in the middle. Alright, and so the next thing we have to do is because it's hard to constantly go into the Bezier curve and select the points and move them around, we're going to want to uh, create our own controls for them. So what I'm going to do is, uh, if we go to Add Mesh, we're going to do Circle. And we're actually going to do three of those, but hold on, let's do this. Uh, if you do Control A, apply the location, it'll go to the origin, and then just do uh, Control Shift C, geometry to origin. All right. So we're going to create three of those, and we'll rotate this one on the X by 90. We'll rotate this one on the Y by 90. That way we get this sort of wireframe sphere. Alright. We'll just rename this. Control. I had something else named Control, so it should just pop up as Control for you guys, but I don't really feel like messing with it. Alright. I'll change this to uh, whatever. Okay, and then we'll name this armature spine. And let's go ahead and go into edit mode, and we'll rename all of our bones. Uh, always rename your bones just so people know what they're looking at. So I'm going to do spine underscore joint one. Then we're just going to keep going up. Two. Spine underscore joint three joint four joint five and then finally joint six. Okay. And then, uh, so, one thing you guys might have noticed is your, after we laid out those bones, once you lay it to the, um, it kind of just follows the curve, so if you had any bends like this, it just kind of snaps it back. If you want, you can, um, you can even move that third point in more, but it, it honestly won't really matter a whole lot, so I'm just going to leave it like this for now. Alright. Save. Okay, so once we have this control, what we're going to do is go to the uh, spine bezier curve, uh, or spine curve I've renamed it to, and uh, let's just go ahead and go into the side ortho view, and we will select the first point, the top point, on, on that curve. Just select this center one here. And then do if you do shift S, do cursor to selected, so now the cursor is sitting there, um, and then go out of edit mode, use your uh, right mouse button to select our control, 
go into edit mode and then do shift A and then do circle uh, wait no that's not right hold on maybe yeah, we'll just do shift D and then we'll do Oh, right. Okay. I'm dumb. Sorry. Completely forgot. All right. So leave that cursor there. Just go ahead and create another armature bone because this is what we're going to use to manipulate the other bones. All right. So go into edit mode for this bone. Do shift A. So it lays it right there. Okay. Go out of edit mode. Back to the um, spine curve. Uh, then select the middle point. Make sure, uh, if you still have that one selected, you can press A and it'll deselect everything, um, or it'll select everything. So if you have something already selected and you press A, it'll deselect it. Okay. So now let's grab the uh, middle middle point that we want there, and just do uh, Shift S, cursor to selected. Go out of out of edit mode. Select this newly created bone. Go into edit mode for that, and then just do Shift A. It places it right on that new spot. It's going to place it like perfectly center, so um, Shift A is a really good feature. Okay, do spine curve, tab, and then let's just do the last point. Select that, edit mode. Oh, you know what? Forgot to do Shift S. Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift A. Cool. And actually, let's just go ahead and, uh, while it's still in edit mode, go ahead and delete that that floating bone. You don't really need it anymore. Okay. So now you've got these bones in here, which look wonky. So what you're going to do is go into edit mode, select it, go to the object properties, which is this cube. Um, and you're going to change this uh, maximum draw type uh, to wire. So it'll make them all wireframes. And then you're just going to go through one bone at a time. Um, go to... I think it's, let's see, uh, sorry, you just have to remember where this is at, uh, maybe out of edit mode, actually we know, I think we have to go into pose mode, yeah, yeah, there, there it is, okay, so yeah, go into, uh, go into pose mode, which is down here, um, pose mode, and you'll see that they're blue now, so go ahead and do each one at a time and do custom shape, and you're going to go for uh, control uh, one or uh, control. I guess for you guys it'll just be control. And you're going to do that for each one. All right. Let me see if I can find. Nah, okay, whatever. Okay, so once you have those all changed, it changes the bone to these to this control that you made earlier. So go ahead and select the original, which is down here on the origin, and then just scale it down. Or uh, I think you have to go into edit mode. And then select everything and just go ahead and scale it down. So it won't do it in object mode, so what you'll have to do is go into edit mode. Uh, just go to vertex, which is this button here. And then... Uh, Press A to select them all, and then just go ahead and scale it down to your preferred size. I'm going to do probably about this big, just so they're kind of noticeable. Alright. Cool. So now we can, when we're in pose mode, so uh, you have all these, and then, uh, sorry, hold on. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Um, Okay, whatever. I think it's because they were over there. Alright, anyways, go to pose mode. Uh, now you can select them individually. And, uh, oh, right. Actually, no, this is what we need to do. Okay, so yeah, go to pose mode. Um, select the top one. Then shift select the spine curve. Go into edit mode for that. And you're going to select each point at a time now, again. 
So select the top one, then do Control H, and do Hook to Selected Object Bone. All right, and let's go ahead and do that for the next one. Select it, uh, Shift Select Spine Curve, go into Edit Mode, select that center point. All right, and then do Control H, Hook to Selected Object Bone. All right, we'll select the last one, Shift Select, Edit Mode, Control H, Hook to Selected Object. Cool. So now when we go into uh, Pose Mode for these guys, it'll allow us to move our curve. Cool. All right. I don't know why they're origin ended up over there. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. There we go. Whatever. That works. So, I guess if that happened, you guys go ahead and just do origin to center mass, and I think that should still be fine. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, uh... So now if we go to object mode, unhide our body, and uh, select these guys, go into pose mode, you'll see we'll be able to bend our body. And so because I have that, um, if you didn't have that center point in, like I was saying earlier, um, that third point in the center, um, this whole thing would be bending. So it, so right now that, that thing kind of acts as a uh, as a constraint for making the whole body bend around. So now I can just bend along that point with this top one, um, or if I select the middle one, we have some action in there as well, which you'll probably want to use this one kind of sparingly. And then the bottom of the body, of course, we also have that, uh, which is more of like, I guess, the, uh, more of the hips. I mean, ah, hold on. <laughs> Let me deselect that. All right. So now, got some, got some movement in there, and this kind of affects, you know, your side to side. Okay. All right. And so this is this is just kind of basic um, spine rigging. This is just kind of setting up. Uh, your spine and then also setting up controls. So um, we can take this further by adding constraints so that like um, when I manipulate this spine it doesn't go like the obviously this would be like a broken back almost. Um, so there's ways to set it up to where that you can't even go that far. Um, but for now I'm just kind of showing you how to set it up. Um, and this is actually something I learned in I think uh, I learned yesterday, uh, probably for a good 10 hours I was working on this. Um, a lot of this knowledge I had to transfer over from Maya and I didn't know how to do in Blender, so this has been a really good learning experience for me as well. Um, there was a lot of issues, but anyways, okay, so this isn't, this isn't done yet. Um, so now we're going to go to object mode, because if you notice, um, I can't, like if I rotate it, it doesn't, it doesn't rotate the body, at least not very much, and I can't go like side, like um, from side to side, your, your body should be able to bend um, from side to side, so, or I guess pivot? I don't know, whatever, you'll see in a second. Okay, so now let's go back to object mode, let's uh, press H to hide the body mesh again, um, and so now what we're going to do is create a new control. So let's add another mesh, let's add this circle, uh, control A, uh, apply the location, then control shift alt C, and we'll do geometry to origin. Alright, and we'll call this new control, uh, I guess, spin control? Whatever. Sounds good to me. Okay. So now what we're going to do is go back in here, and I think I want my body to spin here and here. So, 
what I'm going to do is add a new armature. Let's get back into the side view. Let's move that out. Now we're going to select that bone, do shift S. Uh, here. Let's select right here because we won't have to pivot there. So cursor is selected. I don't know if course it's been, so here. Let's do this. Pose mode. There we go. Okay, so yeah, just go into pose mode, select this bone, uh, shift S, cursor to selected, and it'll put it right where we want it. Okay, so leave pose mode. Uh, go to object mode. Select this one, go into edit mode, select the whole thing. Do shift A, it'll place it right where we want it. Alright, and then we'll do the same thing for this one here. So we will go into pose mode. Select, Shift S, cursor to selected, it'll put it there. Uh, now we go to object mode. Well, of course I just messed that up. Alright. Cursor to selected, object mode, select, edit mode, Shift A. Okay, then we will just go ahead and delete this guy. And, uh, oh man, one other thing. Let's go ahead and rename these bones as well, just so that we know um, what they are. So I'm going to call this one, uh, I'm just going to call this one Top Control. I'll call this one, sorry, it's kind of in the way, but select that wireframed one and do uh, Mid Control. And then we'll select that bottom one, and we'll rename it Bottom Control. Alright, and the way to rename bones individually, uh, you can do it in here by opening this up, opening up the armature, um, or you can just select the bone in edit mode, click on this bone, rename it here. I'm going to go ahead and rename the armature too, and we'll name these um, Move Control. Or, I guess, bend control. Yeah, bend control. Alright. We'll rename this set of armature with the new ones we just created. We'll rename that one. Um, rotate control. And I guess... I know I named that other one spin control, so that's kind of confusing. Let's see. Oh, I named it Spint Control. <laughs> so let's rename it to you. Should let me do that. Cool. Okay, so we're going to want to do the same thing we did with these ones. Uh, go into uh, Pose Mode. Select the bone. Um, let's do Wireframe. So go to the Object Options. Go to the Wireframe there. Maximum Draw Type Wireframe. Then go back to the bone, custom shape, and we will do rotate control. Um, so you'll notice it's in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to rotate it on, just do RX 90, and then do the same thing for this one. Do you rotate control, uh, RX 90, cool. And then we will. Let's, uh, let's actually pop into object mode real quick and let's check the body. I think those are a fine size, but if you want, click the circle, go into edit mode, make sure you have all the vertices selected, and then scale it up or down depending on however you want it. Um, I think they're fine about there. So you want to kind of be able to see them, so they're easy to grab. These ones are okay, I think, inside the body. Um, it's easy enough to see here, and if I if I do this, it's easy enough for me to see here. So I think those are fine. But again, it's preference. You can do it however you want. Um, some people I've seen uh, might even do like boxes, because um, boxes are different than these circles, but they'll um, you can have it protrude from the body. 
which is probably smart. Okay. So, let's save. Alright, let's hide this body again. Just keep that hidden. Alright, so let's select this. We will go to pose mode. And let's select that first bone that we want this one to control. And you're going to go to bone constraints. It's like this bone with a little chain. You're going to add a bone, tr uh, bone constraint and you're going to do child of. And then select the rotate control. Now, hold on. Let me see. We know what bones those are. Bone one and two. Okay. Not the rotate. Okay, right. Sorry. My bad. So, let's rename these bones real quick so it'll be easier for us. So, um, that top one, I'm just going to rename upper rotate control. And then we will rename this one lower rotate All right. Okay. And then I'm gonna rename. I guess. Uh, I guess I have to rename it here. Cool. And then those ones will be the. What do we call them? I think bend control. Yeah. Okay. Give me just one second. Okay. Okay, so where were we? Okay. Yeah, so um, click on that, go to the constraint, child of, and sorry, not bone control, we want the, uh, uh rotate control armature. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I actually named both of them, so, um, well, that one took fine. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so just rename this one. Um, I guess whatever, it doesn't really matter too much. But what you're going to want to do is go into here and then select the, um, in my case it's rotate control 001. Um, so just go ahead and select that. Oh, actually, I wonder if I can select that one too. No, okay, yeah. So rotate control, I think it's probably because I have, um, whatever. Anyways. Rotate control 001 because it's my armature, and then you're going to select the bone, and we're going to do upper because this is for the upper bone. All right. So then we'll do the same thing for this bottom one. Uh, child of uh, rotate control 001, and then we'll do lower this time. Okay, so this is important. So now what you're going to want to do is, um, on this child of modifier, take off all your location, all of your scale, and everything on rotation except for Z, because we really only need it to rotate in the Z direction. Alright, so do that for both of them. Otherwise you'll end up with some wonky, like, twisting stuff, and it... Yeah, it's, it's just annoying. Okay. So save. So now, if we go to pose mode, these should be looked up now so you'll see it rotates okay so now if I go back to object mode uh, here I'm just gonna fix that okay uh, object mode hit H alt H sorry alt H uh, and then we'll go into pose mode for these guys so now if I rotate on the Z I can rotate my body in this direction, in that direction. So, uh, same thing. This is kind of more. This gives you uh, gives you some hip rotation. Um, so if you want to, you can then just like if you want, <laughs> if you want his hips that way, you know his chest the other way, then you can do that. Or you can even you know have his chest over even more and his hips rotated a little bit that direction as well. Um, 
for some cool posing and stuffs. All right. So I think that is pretty much everything I wanted to show, actually. Um, let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. I guess we'll just show it off now. I guess that. I guess that was it. All right. So now, I guess I'm gonna rotate that. Go into pose mode, and I will just grab this, and I want to move him. Like that. <laughs> okay. That might be a little too twisted. There we go, but yeah, see, now there's a lot you can do with it. Um, you can move his spine in uh, really any direction you want, and then you can rotate uh, rotate his spine, hit the pivot of his spine in any direction you want. But the uh, the importance of those uh, turning off those rotations all except for Z uh, really just allows the spine to rotate like how it naturally would, at least hopefully. And a lot of the rotation on the X and Z, or X and Y that you'd get anyways, you're kind of using these controls for. So, so see, look, I can pivot the center of his body a little bit. Yeah, so anyways. Let's just give him a I liked that kind of, it's kind of like a pose almost. Do like, oh, oops, needs to be in pose mode. There we go. Sort of is like showing off, I guess. I don't know. But uh, this way, uh, also the rotation doesn't allow you to, because we turned off the the movement, it doesn't allow you to move it. Um, if you could move it, it would just twist around that curve anyways. It wouldn't look good, so. Alright. Cool. So that is my... Uh, what I've learned about rigging a spine in Blender. And hopefully you guys have learned something. Um, if you need any further clarification, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll try to get back to it as fast as possible. Um, if you want more rigging videos, let me know as well. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I don't mind trying to learn some new things. Um, if you have any, uh, if you, if there is somebody out there that reads this or watches this, uh, watches this, not reads it, whatever, um, and notices that maybe I did something wrong with the rig, or that there is something else I could do with the rig, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. I would love to know. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. Hopefully, you learned something.